The Monica Novi Wireless Patch System is for use in a clinical setting for singleton term intrapartum patients only. Training Session 2 Setting up the Novi Wireless Patch System and Testing If Novi is not in the room, you will need to take one from another L&D room and find a safe place on the cart or on top of the monitor to place it. Before you start, confirm that there are two pods, one in each of the two Novi charging bays, three fetal monitor cables, and a power supply cord. All four should be connected to Novi. You should also bring with you a patch in the silver foil pouch and a roll of skin prep tape if these items are not available in the L&D room. Connect the Y adapter into the monitor. The three interface cables have color-coded plugs. The white plug connects to the TOCO input. The green and gray plugs connect to the maternal ECG and fetal ECG inputs on the Y adapter. Now connect Novi to the AC power outlet. The Novi does not have an on-off switch, so after a few seconds, you will see the Novi start screen. Looking at the start screen, above each of the pods in the charging bays is a battery icon showing the battery status of the pod below. A green battery icon is good, a minimum of 4 hours with up to 11 hours if all green segments are showing. But if it is orange, there will not be enough charge to start a monitoring session. When a pod is fully charged, the blue LED on the pod will be on continuously, and when the pod is charging, the LED will flash slowly. If you remove a pod when the battery icon is orange, it will turn off. The battery icon will disappear from the display, and the blue LEDs will turn off. Replace pod. Above the battery icons are three buttons. A wrench icon providing access to the setup menu, a question mark icon to access help, and a button labeled test. Whenever you move Novi to another room and connect it to a monitor, you should run a test to make sure that the cables and connections are working correctly. When you press the test button, you will be asked to zero the UA reference button on the monitor. Confirm that this has been done by pressing the forward arrow button. Novi will now send an FHR, MHR, and UA signal to the fetal monitor. Check that the fetal monitor displays the test values as shown on the Novi display screen. If correct, press the green Yes button, returning the Novi back to the start screen. If you do not see the correct FHR, MHR, and UA values, press the red No button and follow the instructions.